Watch you guys, if you're looking for a gaming keyboard and mouse combo, then the Marvo Scorpion RGB mechanical keyboard and also RGB mouse might be for you. So the Marvo Scorpion mouse is the G961. Now the DPI goes from 400 all the way up to 12,000 DPI. Six button programmable, uh, switch rating of 20 million clicks. Polling rate is up to 1000 Hertz. USB 2.0, so it's a bit of an older uh, interface here. Let's take a look at the keyboard as well. The keyboard we're looking at here is the KG965G. This is a 112 key keyboard. Switch type is membrane, also switch rating of 10 million presses. The interface is a USB 2.0, cable length is 1.5 meters. It does have eight multi keys and also wide edge palm rest mixed with free color rainbow backlit and also anti-ghosting 19 key rollover support. So let's go ahead and download all of the software that you're going to need to control all of the lighting display for both the keyboard and mouse. You can download both of these from their manufacturer's website. I'll leave the links in the video description. Basically, this is what you can expect to get once you get them out the box. They look pretty snazzy. Now, the mouse itself is pretty lightweight. It does look rather nice with that RGB effect, but it's definitely a clone of the Cooler Master MM710 and MM711. It's got this honeycomb effect on the side here with the two buttons on the side. This gives you that nice rainbow effect look for the RGB. Very, very lightweight. So if you like your lightweight mice, then this might be the one for you. The shape of it suits me perfectly fine. I do like this sort of shape. It does have an anti slip texture side grips and also the RGB backlit with the multiple selector uh, lighting schemes which you can be done with the advanced customization software which you can download from the website that honeycomb uh, sort of effect here does look quite nice that is the actual mouse it does feel nice in the hand it just feels a little bit too lightweight for my type of uh, mouse that I like to use um, but also it does have six buttons which are programmable as well build quality is not too bad but I do think it's probably slightly overpriced at £30.99. It's just my personal opinion. I think there's better mice out there at that sort of price point. Uh, the cable is an actual ultra weave cable, which is braided cable basically for you and I. It does look quite nice as well. And for that sort of price point, the USB uh, interface is 2.0 and upwards. So let's take a look at the keyboard here. So the keyboard is the KG965 Marvo Scorpion. We got your palm rest here made of hard plastic, but it does rest your palm nicely here. Also, we've got our keypad here. You've got your midsection here with your cursor keys, your home button, all those sort of keys in that midsection. You've got your main F keys up the top here and your main keyboard and then your multimedia keys on the side here and up the top as well for your volume and also your pause, play, forward and rewind. Off your buttons at the top, you've also got your volume here as well. I do like to have these buttons on a keyboard, makes it very, very useful. You've got your macro buttons up there on the top as well. So taking a closer look here, just so you can see. Now the build quality on the keyboard is pretty nice. Uh, these buttons here will be very useful when you want to quickly turn up the volume uh, on your uh, headphones or your speakers. Also, the software as well is an added bonus because a lot of the cheaper branded uh, keyboards out there that do supply RGB don't offer uh, software to change the features on here. So we've got all our left, right, middle, forward, back, DPI loop and macro editor. Your profile buttons are all there in export profile and import profile, rename and so on. You've got all your DPI buttons here with colors. And also you can see here the speed of the DPI here as well goes right up to 12,000 uh, DPI, which is quite a lot. Now, the DPI can also be changed with this slider here via the software if you want to, and also you can go into the lighting effects and change the lighting effects to match your keyboard. So, you can basically go in here and change it to uh, breathing steady, neon, whatever you want to do, or turn them even off if you don't like RGB. But if you don't like RGB, then what are you buying an RGB mouse for? You can change the speed of that light display by the little slider here. You can also change colors of your choice here by double clicking and picking the colors that you want to choose on that breathe mode. So you can match it with your headphones and all your other RGB that you might be using on your gaming setup. So very nice uh, feature there. 
So you also got uh, your polling rate here as well, which goes right up to a thousand hertz, which I'll advise you to leave that on at that high rate. And again, mouse sensitivity can be changed inside here. Scrolling speed can be changed as well. And double click speed also can be changed with sliders inside the settings there. And then you can apply those and change them. You can also do the same thing with the keyboard, which is a nice added bonus as well. Now, I do like the fact that you can add macro uh, files here and macro lists for the keyboard and for the mouse. And also, I do like the fact that they've added in software, which allows you to control the color scheme of your keyboard and mouse as well, because you don't always get those on some of the cheaper um, unknown sort of name brand uh, type of keyboard and mice. There's a load of different types of color schemes here you can choose. Now, some of them you can change on the keyboard itself, but we're having the software just makes it so much easier to change to the sort of color pattern that you want and the color scheme that you want and the speed and the brightness of that display for your keyboard. You can restore back to default settings here, but you can just change it to whatever you like inside here. And if something for everyone, now some of them are a little bit, uh, a bit too much, but some of the subtle breathing ones I do quite like a lot. So that's the software for the keyboard and the mouse. Quite a nice professional look uh, to that keyboard and mouse with the software included. And again, you can set profiles up for these as well. So if you're looking for a keyboard and mouse combo that gives you the software to change colors, but you don't want to break the bank and spend a load of money, then the Marvo Scorpion series might be an option for you. So let's take a look at the keys themselves. They look like they've been double shot and they've got some special coating on them to protect the lettering on there. So they're pretty resilient there. As you can see, I'll give these a quick squeeze to see the thickness of the plastic. So they're not just cheap keys on there. They're pretty good. And uh, that will show through on there as well with the lettering. So that should be quite good. Having a look at the keys themselves. Let's have a test. Now that was without the actual uh, key on there. So let's have a test with the key on the actual switch itself. The blue keys do have a more clicky sound to them. So let's have a look on the bottom. We've got the riser feet at the back and also anti-slip rubber feet. That's the sort of noise effect you can expect from these keys. The RGB display on here is pretty nice as well. It's very subtle. I do like the look of it. You can brighten it up a bit if you wish, but I do prefer that more subtle look. I've seen the keyboard priced at around about $69. Now for a blue switch mechanical keyboard with those functions and software is a pretty decent price. The mouse itself I see online for around about £30, which I thought was a little bit too much for that type of mouse. Again, but it does come with software and things like that. So you have to take that into consideration. And if you're happy with that sort of setup and that look at that sort of price, remember uh, some of the bigger brands out there charge way more money uh, than what this will cost you. I think my Corsair uh, keyboard cost me £165, which is quite a lot of money. So this is another option that is much more affordable for you. Anyway, but that said, I just want to say a big special thanks to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great weekend and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.